hey guys and welcome to my official youtube channel i told you guys that i would be starting this and officially today we are starting um so welcome to made by jay today i'm going to be sharing one of my delicious recipes that everyone always asks me to make when i was back in new york of course because it seems like people in virginia don't really eat oxtails like that i don't know but I am gonna be sharing it with you. Now, the only difference today is that I'm gonna be using my Instant Pot because it's become my new best friend. And the only thing that will be different if you were gonna use it on the stove with a Dutch oven or a regular stainless steel pot, nonstick um, pan pot, is the cook time. So I will be cooking this in here for 45 minutes versus when I cook it on the stove, it's about four and a half to five hours, depending on if you have electric or gas. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know the ingredients that you will need, how much of it, and then we'll get cooking. So Bye. in this bowl, I have already added all of the seasonings that we're gonna be using just to help to save time, but I'll let you know how much I put of each. I haven't used the minced garlic yet. That's gonna come with the sauteing, but I did use a tablespoon of Cajun seasoning, a tablespoon of onion, a tablespoon of, uh, nope, actually a teaspoon of red cayenne, a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. Now you can go up or down depending on your spice level um ground black pepper a tablespoon of that a uh, half of a teaspoon of oxtail seasoning i don't even know why i use it I, I guess i just use it just because and then for my seasoning salt of course i use a tablespoon of that now for my allspice as you can see in here i have a couple of pimento seeds in there um and of course i have a tablespoon of garlic powder now later on we will need the Worcestershire sauce and also we will need our brownie and in front of me I have green bell pepper chopped I have in this bowl I have an onion and at the bottom there are some um, green onions as well you just can't see them and then I have one tomato roughly chopped as well now if you are making two pounds you will go ahead and use two tomatoes um, you can still use a large onion. You can use a couple more green onions, maybe a bell pepper and a half of, um, a bell pepper and a half. And then of course I have some, um, thyme here to put in later. And yeah, so then also I'm going to go ahead. I just haven't opened it yet. I'm also going to add a half a packet of sesame and a, a little sprinkle of Lipton onion soup mix. And then later on, we're also going to need tomato paste, um, two tablespoons of that, and you're also gonna need butter beans. Now, I usually buy the Goya, but the International Mart I went to did not have any more, so I just got the Bushes. I don't know if you can see, there you go. I got the Bushes um, butter beans. Excuse that noise, that's my dry going. So now that I've explained to you all the seasonings, I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. So I also forgot to mention before we go ahead that you will need, um, as, as a part of the ingredients, you will need chicken stock, chicken broth, or chicken broth. I use chicken, although it is a beef, I prefer the flavor of the chicken. So I actually went ahead and I made my own. I used um, chicken powder, one teaspoon to every cup of water, and I boiled it and let it boil down. Or if you know the, um, chicken bouillon you can go ahead and use that and you can dissolve two tablets and two cups of water because you will need that once you start um cooking your oxtails so i forgot to okay so before i actually turn my instant pot on saute mode i'm gonna go ahead and season the oxtail so here's my bowl of seasoning and i have some extra virgin olive oil here i'm going to go ahead and just drizzle a little bit over it just to coat the meat just about a teaspoon of that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my seasonings. Just like that. I'm wearing gloves just because I don't like the seasonings on my hands. And you're just gonna go ahead and massage it in. Now, usually when I do make oxtails, I will clean my meat soak it in vinegar which i did and i would season it and let it soak in the fridge overnight but i found that every time that i make it either way it comes out the same way so 
I will not be um, letting it marinate today, but if you choose to, you can. A little bit of this Lipton mix, which is this Lipton onion. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Just a little bit of that. And then it, I'm gonna add a half a packet of Sesson. I'm using the yellow one just because I don't want too much redness to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the red one. I mean the yellow one, sorry. Just a half a packet and then mix that in as well. Now I'm going to remove my gloves because I'm done with my hands. And I'm going to remove the bowl so I can get the Instapot started. So I'm just going to put the bowl over here. And I'm going to turn my Instant Pot on to, I don't know if you guys can see, on saute. It's not even plugged in. Okay. So I'm going to turn it on saute. I don't know if you guys can see what I have going on here. So I'm going to put it on saute and I'm going to turn it up to 30 minutes. We're probably not going to need 30 minutes, but just so it can get warmed up. And I'm going to press start, of course. And that's going to get go ahead and get warmed up. So my Instant Pot has now beeped to let me know that it is warmed up. So what I did was I put some vegetable oil inside of a bowl because I have a gallon and I have not gotten my um, oil drizzler yet. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to coat the bottom of this pan because what we're going to do, we're going to brown these oxtails on all sides for about a minute or two now you want to go ahead and get another bowl because you're going to take them out if they all can't fit in one batch depending on how much you're making so i'm going to add some olive oil i don't know if you guys can see okay so i'm going to go ahead and add some olive oil into the pan just to coat the bottom of the pan and once it's completely coated um, and this is, this is, I don't know if I said, this is vegetable oil. So I'm going to coat that. And now I'm just going to go ahead and begin adding my oxel in there. And it's going to sizzle, so be careful. And I do believe, hopefully this is on high. No, it's not. Okay. It's not on high, so I had to go ahead and readjust that. We're just gonna brown these off so on both sides. And then I'll let you guys see what that looks like once it is browned. So of course, even with me just making one pound, this is a six quart instant pot. So um, it still can't fit that much, you know, just so that would be how cook would be doing. I'm gonna go ahead and let that brown. And then I'll let you guys see what that looks like once they all come out. So, brown it on one side for about a minute, flip it on the other side for about a minute, and then go ahead and brown them on their sides. This is the most time consuming part of making this oxtail stew besides the prep time, which is cutting up the vegetables and getting everything ready. But as you can hear, it's sizzling now, and the aroma is amazing. So, once they're finished browning, I'll go ahead and I'll let you guys see what they look like. All right, so we're steaming up here. We're steaming up. Um, I've just removed the first batch. Um, and I took about maybe four minutes. So you just want them to get, you see how they're brown? They're not cooked, obviously. But you just want them to get a little color. You want them a little more brown, be my guess. Um, so I just put the second batch in. It's not much left. But I do want to show you guys something. So over here, let me move this, put this up. There is some brown glaze at the bottom. Obviously because of all of the seasoning. 
So while your second batch or third batch or your last batch is cooking, you wanna go ahead and get you a tablespoon of butter because what we're gonna do after we take this out is we're gonna deglaze the pan so that way we can go ahead and add in our vegetables. You don't wanna get rid of this because all of this seasoning is flavor and trust me, it's good. So go ahead while your second batch is cooking and you're flipping or whatever and get you a tablespoon of butter because once this comes out, we're gonna deglaze. Also, this little residue that's left in your bowl, don't throw it away, the rest of the seasoning. Add maybe a cup of water to that because what's gonna happen is once we add in our chicken stock or chicken broth, we're all gonna need a little bit more water so you can add water to this so that way the water you add has flavor to it. So go ahead and add a little water to that, mix it up so that way those seasonings don't get put to waste because you need that. And then once my second batch is done, I'll go ahead and I'll be back. So my second batch is done and this is what I was telling you guys. So it's going to look burnt. It is going to look burnt, but please believe me that it is not. What you want to do is now turn your instant pot or your stove, depending on how you're deciding to make this, turn it down to low. As it's doing that, turn it to low. Add in your tablespoon or two of butter, and then take your wooden spoon and just go ahead and allow that to release all of that flavor from the bottom. It is not burnt, trust me. It's just the seasoning that's sticking. I don't know if you guys cook often or you know, but usually what happens is Seasoning stick to the bottom. I'm sorry. The seasonings are burning my nose. The tire pepper. So just go ahead and move, push that around. Be sure to use a water spoon. Now, if you prefer not to have this, you don't have to. You really don't have to. But I like to actually have that in there because once it all cooks down, it tastes really good. And just go ahead. And if you don't want to use butter, you can absolutely use olive oil because what's going to happen is once we add those vegetables and that water, it's going to cook it down. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and add in is our green onions and red, um, green onions and our white onions. So I'm going to add that in there like that and watch how that just is going to come up from the pot. You're gonna salt in your green onions and your white onions, your yellow onions. For about two minutes. And then I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like. So I actually just wanted to go in and show you guys how it has lifted up mostly. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our green bell pepper. And also, we're gonna add in a tablespoon or two of minced garlic or fresh garlic depending on what you like all right so i will now now that i add in the green bell pepper i'm gonna now add in my two tablespoons of garlic and you don't want to add the garlic in they're big garlic. they're big spoons because i really like garlic again adjust the measurements for your taste buds i'm cooking it the way i like it and the way I've been told is that I'm sorry, these seasonings are burning my, my nose. Let that saute for about two minutes. And once that's finished sauteing, we're gonna add in our tomatoes. We're gonna stir that until it gets thick. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our tom um, tablespoon or two of tomato paste. All right, so we'll be right back. Okay, so at this time, I'm adding in my teaspoon of Worcestershire for yeah, a little more and my teaspoon of browning.
And then I'm also going to add in my three sprays of thyme. And I'm just going to stir that all together. And now we're going to go ahead and add back in our oxo. So you want to add in the oxo, all that juice that came from them. And stir that all together. So it should be evenly coated now. Try for the steam. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add in that chicken broth or stock that I told you I made. Add that in there. And then And then we add in that bowl that I told you that had the seasonings left. There's a little bit of water in here. And add that in. And you want to make sure that all of your oxtails are evenly coated. And then I'll show you what that looks like. So this is what it's looking like for me. You should have something sim similar, whether it's on the stove or in your Instant Pot. And now my oxtails are pretty much covered, but I want a little bit more water. So I'm adding in one more cup of just plain water. Once you have in your cup of water, you're gonna stir. And at this point, you want to taste it because this is what it's going to taste like um, when it's finished. So you want to taste it. Make sure it tastes like what you want, the spice level and everything else. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and taste that. And if it's all good to go, we're going to turn the saute mode off and we're going to pressure cook for a total of 45 minutes. Excuse me. So now I'm going to just go ahead and taste this see if I'm liking it so far. That's actually perfect. Shocking. That is actually very perfect. Okay, yes. I usually have to add a little more something, but I was right on the money today. So I'm going to turn off the saute mode. I'm going to press cancel. And I'm going to go to pressure cook. Now, the total cook time in the Instant Pot for oxtail is 45 minutes, but we still have to add in our butter beans. And because we don't want them to be soggy, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, uh, let's say 35 minutes pressure cook with a natural release. So that means that once you, it's finished pressure cooking, hold on, let me put the right amount of time on here. 35 minutes on high, of course. You want to press start. And once it's ready, it'll start pressure because make sure it's locked and make sure it's on seal and not bent. Once it's finished cooking, do a natural release. Make sure that your keep warm button is off so it can release faster. Once that 35 minutes is done and it natural releases, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna add our can of butter beans. Do not drain them because the butter bean um, juice is what's gonna help it thicken up and give it more flavor. So do not drain them. Once that is done, we're gonna put it back on for the remaining 10 minutes so the butter beans can get cooked in there and then we'll be done. So I'll see you guys back once the 35 minutes is done um, right now. And I'll see you guys back. Okay, so our 35 minutes is up and 
We don't have quite the tenderness that we would want, obviously, because it's not done cooking. But now what I'm going to do, as you can see, they're looking very delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my butter beans. I'm gonna add the whole can, just because I actually like them. So I'm gonna add the whole can in here. I splashed it on myself. And I'm gonna stir that in. And now I'm actually gonna put it on the oven. Yes, baby, yes. Yes, so I'm gonna stir it up. And I'm gonna put it on pressure because I'm actually gonna do an extra 15 minutes. You're not, no baby, you're not getting any crackers because you're gonna have dinner soon. So I'm gonna put this on pressure cook again for an, um 15 minutes. I'm gonna turn this down to 15. I don't know if you guys can see. My children are home now, so there goes the peace and quiet. 15 minutes on high. And I'm gonna press start. And I'm actually gonna keep the warm button on because I just want to. So once this 15 minutes is done, we will have our oxtails, oxtail stew. And then you can pair this with white rice or rice and peas. I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna use the Uncle Ben's microwavable rice just because I don't really feel like making rice. Usually I will, but I don't feel like it. Make sure your pot is still on seal and not vent. And then once your instant pot is ready to go ahead and start, it'll be. So we're going to give that 15 minutes. And once that 15 minutes is done, we are going to let it do a natural release again. And then we'll be all finished. So once that's finished, I'll come back and I'll actually plate it all for you guys and do a little taste test so you guys can see. And I might let Zora and Ethan taste it too so you can see their reaction. But thank you guys for watching and we'll be right back. Bye. Okay, so we are finally to the finished product. Um, it is officially finished. So once it's done, you just go ahead, stir it up, make sure it's at a, your desired tenderness and which it is. I'm very pleased. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate it up for you guys and then I'll have a taste. So please try this recipe at home and let me know how you like it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. So I already started eating it, and let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. The way it's falling off the bone, the butter bean. Look at that! Look at that! Where y'all getting that at? At home? That's where you getting it from. At home? You make it at home? They don't make it like this in the restaurant. Just grab. Mmm. Oh, look. Thank you guys for tuning in. Again, there's more videos coming. I love you all. And have a very, very blessed evening. Bye-bye.